Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance on the Terra ecosystem. Today I'm going to be making an updated video about how I might get started if I was just going into the Terra ecosystem now. The inspiration for this one has come from some conversations I've had with some friends in real life who are looking to get started investing with Terra. So that's the question I'm going to address just now. How would I start using Terra? to save and invest. I'm going to start off showing you how I would install the Terra Station Chrome extension and then how I buy UST, the native stablecoin, with real money and we can do this quite quickly due to a new tool that is available. And then I'm going to deposit some UST into a savings account earning about 20% interest and I'm also going to be buying some Luna which is a more volatile asset on the Terra ecosystem. Step one is to install the Chrome extension, which is the wallet that I need to play on Terra. So I'm on the website terra.money, click on learn, and I'm going to download the Chrome extension. So in the Chrome web store, just going to click add to Chrome. So now added that, if I click on the jigsaw piece, I can pin this and I've now got this wallet here, the Terra Station wallet. What I want to do now is create a new wallet. So on this screen, I've got to fill in some details, but then I've also got to be careful to write down this mnemonic phrase, which is needed if I ever lose access to my computer or forget my password. And it definitely has to be kept 100% secure I'm not going to save it on my computer, I'm going to write it down with paper and pen. Also because I've shown you this one on the video, I'm going to do it off camera with a different phrase. So I'll get back to you soon. And once you've created your wallet, you should end up at a page like this. So at the moment I've got no Luna and no UST in my wallet. What I need to do now is get some money into my wallet. A great way to do that is using this website, Cado.money. They've got a new product which has come out recently called Cado Ramp. So I'm going to use this one. And now I can transfer money from my UK bank account directly into my newly created Terra Station wallet. So I just need to select my currency. I'm going to be putting in £500 a month from my bank account. The fee for doing this is a flat 2 UST regardless of how much I'm transferring and the exchange rate is pretty close to the real rate. So if I deposit £500, I'm going to get 668 UST in my Terra Station wallet. So I've just got to add in some details. This memo field is if I want to add a message with my transfer, but as I'm transferring it to myself, I don't have to do that. I suppose I could do. There's various steps that I have to go through, including getting an email, and then I have to upload some sort of ID. I'll just use my driver's license. I've missed out a few screens because I didn't want to show you all my banking details, but it looks like this has gone through. I've just got to double check an email and then I should be done. There are a few hoops to jump through with Cado Ramp, but once I'm set up, it should be much easier next month when I want to deposit my £500. So it looks like that order has been confirmed. So my 668 UST has arrived. Once the payment was sent, it actually went really, really quickly. So far, I've installed the Terra Station Chrome extension wallet. I've deposited some pounds into my wallet as UST. The next thing that I want to do is deposit some of this UST into the Anchor savings account. So over on this website, anchorprotocol.com, I'm going to click on the web app. 
And then this is the main dashboard. I need to connect my wallet. I'm just going to go for this one, the Terra Station wallet extension. And this is always important to read this just to find out what the website can do. And it's just going to allow the website to view my wallet address. So I'm going to connect. And you can see it's got my balance there. So I want to go to this section. And this is a brilliant website. It allows us to do loads of things. And I've got other videos about this product. But I'm going to go to Earn. And you can see that the APY on any deposits that I make are almost 20%. So I'm going to deposit about half of my money into Anchor Earn. So I'm going to deposit 330 UST in here. There's a transaction fee of 25 cents. This is just details of my transaction. And this just shows my deposit. So if I come down to this section here, I would expect to receive $64.65 in interest over a year but hopefully every month I'll be adding in about this same amount into my savings account. So that was really quick and simple just to deposit some money into that anchor savings account. Now I'm not going to get massive gains from saving here but I think it's a great way to increase my wealth every month. Much better than leaving my money in a bank account for two reasons. If I leave my money in my bank account in the UK I'll probably spend it and even if I didn't spend it I'm earning no interest. Finally what I want to do today is buy and then stake some Luna token and I'm hoping that over the course of the next few years Luna really is going to appreciate in value by maybe 10 times if not more. So this is where I can really increase my wealth through monthly deposits into the Terra ecosystem. So the next website that I want to go to is this one here, terraswap.io. Again, I need to enter the web app and connect my wallet, TerraStation wallet. Again, I've got the message, permission granted to this site to view my wallet address, yep. Right, and over on the left-hand side, I can now swap tokens and I've got some UST and I want to buy Luna with that. And I always choose ones that are verified. And then if I click this arrow, it'll flip them the other way. So I want to convert some UST into Luna. Now I always want to leave some UST in my wallet for transaction fees. So I'm just gonna do the same amount that I put into my savings account, so 330. And even though Luna has gone up quite a bit in price over the last few days, I still want to buy some, and I should be getting over four Luna tokens. If I check my wallet, you should now see that I've got a little bit of UST left, and I've got over 4.3 Luna. Now, to avoid myself panicking if I see the price of Luna tanking or if it doubles or triples in price to avoid myself selling too early, what I want to do is stake my Luna and that's a good way for me to get even more Luna because there are staking rewards. So the website I'm gonna to go to now is called Stader. This is staderlabs.com. I'm gonna click on stake now and I need to connect the wallet and again read the message, that seems okay to me. And I will be putting out a video specifically about Stater going through these different options, but the one that I want to look at today is this one here, Stake Plus. So what I can do is stake my Luna to one of these validators, and again I've got more videos about validators which I can link to. And by staking my Luna, you can see here that I could earn about 9% APR on my Luna, which is great, especially if the Luna is going up in dollar value as well. That's a lot more than 9% in dollar terms. Now, full disclosure, I'm actually a junior partner in this Orbital Command Validator. There are other ones that we can pick. 
And again, I've got videos discussing different validators and they all offer something unique. Terabytes has a great YouTube channel. The Galactic Punks are one of the blue chip NFT projects on Terra. But today I'm going to be staking to the Orbital Command validator. And our focus is on educating the Terra Luna community. We produce YouTube videos, we've got an active Twitter account and an active Discord channel, amongst other things. By delegating to the Orbital Command Validator, you are indirectly helping to support the Rebel DeFi YouTube channel. So I've chosen Orbital Command, I'm going to press deposit. I'm going to do all my Luna and it's a 30 cent transaction fee. Hit confirm. So my delegated Luna has moved down into this section and the rewards just auto compound continually increasing the amount of Luna I have staked via Stader. Now one thing about delegating to a validator on the network is it that it locks my Luna for 21 days. And as I was saying before, I think that's a good thing because it stops me getting too emotional and either buying or selling when I maybe don't want to. My intention here is just to try and build up my Luna stash. I would like to see my Luna get to over 100. Just to go over what I did in this video today, first of all, set up my wallet. Then I transferred some real money from my UK bank account into my Terra Station wallet. I then saved half of my money on Anchor, which is earning 20%. And then with the, the other half, I decided to buy some Luna and then stake with the Orbital Command Validator, earning just under 10%. What I'm going to do with this series of videos is every month I'm going to transfer £500 into this Terra Station wallet. And hopefully over the next few years, this regular investment of £500 is going to turn into tens of thousands of pounds. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button. And if you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.